What up guys? Iowa Western Community College here with some Overwatch for you today. I am one of your esports coaches, Kilk. You guys have seen me before with me. I've got Keller. Have you changed your gamer tag? No. Nope. You're we are still, still Killer peeler. Keller. No, you're. We're, well, the peeler's on the back of the shirt. Oh. I think you're being summoned. <laughs> All right. So Kaylee's got to She got be locked out again. Oh, she got locked out of the GC. Oh, she needs water. Oh, okay. Not as funny. Not as funny. Um, tonight, guys, we got uh, Overwatch against Walter Community College. Um, this is tier two, I believe. Yep. Final tier two game of hopefully the season. And being told they haven't uh, final Overwatch game of the season. Not tier two game. Yeah, final. Walter Overwatch game. hasn't checked in yet, so. When that, happened, will, yeah. when that happened to us on League, uh, I messaged our coach, and he was like, oh, there was just a glitch in the system. We weren't even supposed to be listed anymore. But I got some dudes here. I'm like, all right, well, let's do it. Mm. <laughs> and Sweet. they put together, like, it was like him, some of their Tier 1 guys, some of their Tier 2 guys, and we were like, yeah, we're just down to play, man. We're just trying to have a good time. All right. So, um, That's kind of what tonight is. Uh, we're just having fun with it, trying out the uh, team comp for next season. I'm going to be playing support tonight. Oh, yeah? My first time playing support for a competitive setting. So Who do you play? Uh, well, I play a few of them, but my favorite's Moira. I love Moira. Okay. Moira is just so much Basically fun. Basically DPS. Oh, yeah. You're basically yep. playing DPS. I, I get tons of kills. It's <laughs> Moira and Zen are my two favorites. Yeah, both, makes sense. Both as just a, DPS. As a DPS yeah. player, yeah. I do a ton um, of healing still. but not a Lari? Laurie's not. I, I don't like the way her gun works. The charge. The, the charge. I just can't do the charge. They're shot. slowing that down next season. I saw. Yeah. 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 Which is weird because I don't think Laurie's broken by any means, considering no. her entire value comes from her pylon. But they're trying to shift yeah. that a little bit, right? They're trying to shift some of that power into uh, her healing beam, which is really cool. Um, I've even heard some cool things on some social media about people like saying, "Yeah, you know, why don't they just make Laurie's pylon mobile?" Yep. And have it like have to stay within X amount of feet of her, and it kind of follows her around. Um, that would be cool too. That would be a, a new aspect that you've never seen in Overwatch. Yeah, that'd be a really interesting thing to do. And I mean, I can't imagine it'd be more value out of her. Too hard. I you just kind of got to make it like a mini payload or something. Yeah, shorten the range so that it can't hit people from like across the thing, but yeah. make it mobile. Like, yep. Yeah, it'd be cool. I mean, it only heals for what thirty a <laughs> shot when it hits people. So yeah, and it can only heal one person at a time. So yeah. I mean. Not broken by any means. I don't know why no. they keep nerfing her. <laughs> um, you guys want to guess where this college is from? I already, already know where it's from. I told him I was to. told. Because I got, I asked that question to Cole, and then Cole said guess, and I was wrong. <laughs> you had a 1 in 50 Tennessee. chance. You're the only 10 I see. I know. <laughs> oh. I'm aware. Bill, stop it. <laughs> your water wings. My water wings. Yeah, I heard. Oh, this, I heard a well, story of see, you today. Well, you know, I've I've been hitting the gym a lot, so I have to wear water. So wings they weren't water I, wings; they were weights, right? Well, no, they're not weights. Made out of no, air. they're they're water wings. But um, I mean, you can you can see the uh, the progress paying off, like guns. Yeah, the big old, yeah. The big old muscles, you know. <laughs> I'm not wearing them. These are my muscles. I've been working out. <laughs> I like it. Um, is there anybody else swapping <laughs> roles today? Um, Caden's going to be playing support for one of these as well. Okay. Um, is somebody playing I think, Lucio? I think that's it. Well, Bones is DPS. Yeah, but, oh, Bones is on is DPS. He? Yep. Oh, okay. What does Bones play DPS-wise? He really likes Sombra, but he kind of plays anybody. Does he? He's okay. like our all-rounder. <laughs> so what I'm excited for <clears throat> about Overwatch is I log into Overwatch. Uh, yes, last night, mm -hmm. and there is a new skin bundle out. Yeah, for Brig and Sojourn. Yep, and those are two of my main characters, and I have no—I had no skins for Brig because I've so far all of them except for uh, the girl band one, the K-pop one. Yep. Yeah, the K-pop one was cool, um, but I didn't get in on that one. Um, but this one is is fun because she has new voice lines with it and mm -hmm. everything, and she's basically talking crap. She's like, "I will kill you if you don't follow the emperor and 
wild stuff like that. So it's a, it's a cool bundle. Yeah, it's, so I did I did get that one. I got American Cassidy today. Did you? Yeah. Oh yeah. He, yeah. Pop, he popped up in my shop. <laughs> Bought that one real fast. I've been playing a lot more Cassidy recently. He's a fun character. You been getting the Twitch drops for everybody? No, I haven't. Oh. No. I didn't know there was Twitch drops. Nobody tells me because I don't really, I don't really There's, watch Twitch. They Twitch drops like all the time, I feel like. Yeah. That's where I got like half my Genji skins and Kiriko mm. skins and mm -hmm. stuff like that. It feels like it's all Twitch drops. I just ha I have a bunch of uh, silver credits saved up. So mm -hmm. I had like 12,000 and then a bunch of just skins for characters I like kept popping up. Yeah. So I just kept buying skins. Um, Who's playing tank today? Ethan. Ethan. And how good is Ethan at tank? He's pretty good. Okay. Um, I think he's ranked plat two right now, plat three. Mm -hmm. So pretty decent rank for just starting to play tank again. Like he, that used to be his main role. And oh, then we had him on okay. support because we needed a support player. Um, now he's getting back into it, starting to learn how to play the characters again with all the new updates and stuff that's been going on. He's been doing really well. Yeah, and there's really going to be well. some changes coming here in the next few days, too, right? Mm -hmm. this season, when Season 10 comes out, Tracer's getting a little bit of a nerf, from my understanding. Yep, um, Tracer and Sombra, both getting little nerfs. A little bit, yeah, some quality of life. It's been a little too long that Tracer's been the top of the mountain, I feel like. Especially yeah, after she's the hit. really annoying. Yeah. Like it's, and it's so hard to get her out of there quick because between Recall and supports and the three blinks you get. Like, it's just so easy to run in, run out, and heal. Now, do you think that she needs to be nerfed with um, the new DPS coming out that was a basically able to pop her in one shot? Um, I think... Venture, right? I think, you like, you keep, keep her survivability up. Mm -hmm. I think that's fine, but I think you need to do something with her DPS output. Because okay. I think... For her survivability, her DPS output's too high. Because she can kill people really fast, she can secure kills really fast, mm -hmm. and just run away. And then... Yeah, she can just kind of run you down. Yeah. Um, do you think increasing her spread would be um, beneficial? It would probably help, because she's very close <laughs> range right now. Um, mm -hmm. Well, she's close to medium right now, so if we increase her spread, I mean... She has to get even closer, which, her, right. yeah. which is more dangerous for her. Yep. But then again, I feel like every time I see him, they're just full setting it at me anyway. But Moomin That's Rider's true. already up over 60, so he's yeah. got some good stuff with his bubbles already. Playing Zarya into a D.Va here, or into the Doomfist. Doom. Uh, what else do they have? We see the Doomfist, dead. The Tracer, Soldier, uh, Lucio, and Ana here. See Bones on the Sombra. Bones trying to live for one more second so he can yep. try to get out. Bones oh. is a really good Sombra player. Like it it just clicks with him. And there nice. goes there goes their entire team. We win that first team fight. Good hack. Nice. I'm a big fan of Sombras, by the way. Sombra. I'm not. As someone who relies heavily on characters that get demolished by Sombra. <laughs> Uh, Doomfist and Tide, they don't have a Kiri to cleanse this. They're, they're playing Lucio Ana, so us playing Kiri Ana, we get the same amount of stuff they do, except we get to get rid of theirs. Yeah, so it's interesting. Um, we see Sombra on the field, right? And as a Doomfist, you don't want to face Sombra. Yeah. Right, because Sombra just cancels all of your ability to do what you want to do, right? She basically... Yep says you don't get to play the normal team. Yeah. Which is never fun. She's my pick when I see Doomfist. Mm -hmm. If I see Ball or Doomfist, it's Sombra. It's, I mean, of the time. see who... Even Diva. Like... Sombra shuts down Doom, Ball, um, Diva, uh, Lucio, uh, Soldier, Reaper, um, Moira. You think she uh, shuts down uh, Reaper? She shuts down Reaper really well. I I lose a lot of the one v ones I take as a Reaper versus Sombra, which is just a skill issue. But also, the hack just gets rid of your shift yeah, and your yeah. TP, so you're relying entirely on just hitting shots that are doing enough to heal. Yep, Bones is just trashing Piper them as they come out. 
he's playing very hyper aggressive, which I really like. He's basically using the relocator on cooldown too, which is really good. There goes yeah, our nano at a hundred charge with the oh, grab. Dang. That's gonna be a team wipe, pretty much. Lucio's not gonna be able to make it to point, and that should be first point to Iowa Western. Yeah, that was very well done. Um, and he goes oh, ball. Does he make is, it? He has. He to, makes it. But. Will it be enough though? I don't think so. Just barely. Awesome. Well, that was a quick 1-0 for our uh, Western in the first round. Yep. First right. round, real quick. What do you think about that map? It's... <sighs> it's pretty open, I feel like. Yeah, I, I personally am not a fan of Samoa. Um, but, I mean, it's not necessarily a like bad map. I just don't like how it is. Okay. Uh, oh, they're going ball into Sombra now. Oh, we're playing... Nope. Oh. No, no, go back to Sombra. Back to Sombra Bones. Back to Sombra, Sombra Bones. So or are we just checking skins? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, we're playing Tracer. Nah, nope, we're going. Yeah, Sombra. yep. Oh, we swapped Sig, May, Bastion, Bap, and Lucio. Keeping the Lucio. I'm okay. interested we... as to why. Can we talk about that, what just happened right there? I love the idea going Lucio speed boosting swapping characters and then um, going to whoever you're gonna play with. Yeah. Does that work or does it when you swap does it remove the buff immediately? It does not remove the buff immediately. It should. Um, I feel, like, I it feel should. like it should but it doesn't. You get the speed boost and then you can swap in the yeah. rest of your like especially with Astral being the one that we have as our Lucio doing that. Mm -hmm. He plays Kiri you can just TP in. So yeah, everybody yeah. gets that boost pretty speed much. Boost, TP, yeah. And there goes the BAP to 100 charge. They just keep shooting these Zarya bubbles. Yeah, well, you know, I've watched Moomin here bubbling his team more than he bubbles himself. Yep. Which is a huge sign of a very good Zarya. Yep. Because, like, if I'm playing Zarya, I will tell you, 99% of those bubbles are on me. Mm -hmm. Myself. Because I'm not a good Zarya player. <laughs> So, but when I see Zarya players, I'm facing Zarya players, so I see where they're constantly bubbling their own team, they're constantly staying safe, so their healers won't have to heal them. They're very hard to deal with. Yep. And you still get flamed as the other tank for that, for her being fully charged, and you're like, I haven't shot her once. I'm yeah. Just just because I'm Malga doesn't mean we, I'm full sending into Zarya's shields, I assure you. The cream team this season has had a real fun time arguing about who has been shooting Zarya's in our matches because we all have like, we, we'll shoot like one shot, realize that the bubble's there, but that's all it takes is everybody shooting one shot. Great EMP. Dang. Shuts down their entire team. That's a 4K to our bones here. Yeah, fantastic play there by Bones. We saw him throw Translocator up, come down, hack the bastion start going low emp everybody and then we the rest of the team followed up yep so, yeah bones is a, looks to be a incredible somber player maybe he's found his main yeah oh, it's, it's been Did his main for three seasons i was wondering if he got the hack on the you can see all of them are playing this they may ult and bap ult here yeah i don't think the bap ult got them anything. The may ult got them two. His accuracy is very good too. He has good yep. tra tracking ability. That's the most annoying thing. When you're playing as Sombra and someone's just on the line of your hack and it keeps breaking before it finishes. Yep. So annoying. Great bubble to get Ethan a bunch of charge there. I'm also enjoying the fact that bap dies to virus. I'm watching Bones relocate even if he's not. Yep, because uh, with the cooldown of Translocator being so short, I mean, mm -hmm. it's just so much movement. It makes it so easy to get out of there. You can see Ethan lives on 50 there. He's not scared. <laughs> EMP doesn't hit anybody, it looks like. Uh -oh. oh, no, he's at 30. Unfortunate. I think he got punched. Oh no, it was Lucio shots. Yep. All right. Well, Bones is gonna have to be the one to recontest here. We have Mind Gods ult. Actually, Bones crosshair. Yes. 
Oh. No, wait. This is no. This is um. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, hey, oh, yeah. and we lose second point here. I think with the May, it's probably time to swap off of Zarya here, because mm -hmm. um, her walls have just been cutting him off so much, and. We, I mean, we could outplay that with Bastion. Um, we just have to be quicker with the tank form and save it for the wall. Mm. So is that is that basically the counterplay to the walling your um, tank off? So it's it's not necessarily just Bastion that is the counterplay, but mm -hmm. the counterplay to it is if you see wall go up, you simultaneously shoot the wall directly behind your tank mm -hmm. and then start shooting closer ones because you want to drop the wall immediately behind your tank because your tank's first reaction isn't to back up and move right and left to find the opening it's right. going to be back straight yeah, up so if you get that wall back. out your tank's fine we're swapping rom here i'm a big fan of the rom i love so, rom my two tank mains are malga and then if malga's not working it's ram yep and and that's going to be a Dang. insane first push for us. Looks good. He's trying to, oh, Lucio was able to get away. Got out of the vortex. Bones taking out the Moira there. The big thing we're seeing here on Bones' Sombra is there's very little downtime for him. He's yep. always trying to do something, which yeah. is fantastic. That's what you hope. Oh, oh and here. We're, we're seeing a uh, Sombra trying to ego check here. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to see if they can't be a little better than Bones on the Sombra. But we'll see. Som Bones they can't. Been playing fantastic. So. They can't. Bones is perfect at everything he does. It's true. But yeah. Um, oh, one the of the Sombras, things... I think, see each other. <laughs> they were both detected on each other. And... <laughs> but yeah. Funny. One of the things you'll hear um, Bones say a lot when he's playing Sombra is, like, she's a she works really well at mid-range. Like, you can see him playing fairly decent distance there like your goal isn't to rush in and get kills like it is tracers uh your goal is to just be annoying and if you can distract someone from the current fight that's going on mm -hmm. that wins you fights yes and that's all she's supposed to do is distract potentially get a kill and run away but if you're annoying from mid-range they can't do anything and so, so that's what you see him doing a lot here what i've realized is bones likes doesn't like the other team having alts yep that's why he plays Life Weaver. That's why he plays Sombra. Yep. <laughs> oh, we shut that Arisa down so fast. Oh, Ethan gets hacked, but he lives. Oh, Bones goes down to a burn there. We have Rom ult, we have Nano, we have EMP, and we have Beats. And we're going to have Bastion next fight. Yeah. So this, and uh, this they've only the got Moira right, right now. This should be final fight if we use our ults here. There we go. There it is. Nano with Rommel just absolutely shutting it down. It's so oppressive. Like, there's nothing you can do against no, it, I feel like. No, You it's... just have to sleep him and run away and hope yep. he can survive. And that's going to be game one to Iowa Western. Nice. Oh, not yet. Oh. Lucio was there. Lucio doing Lucio things, a.k.a. being annoying and not letting the game end. Now maybe? No, it's still going. You can hear Ethan scream through the wall. <laughs> now they've got Bob on just, point. Yeah, just wall it off. I don't think we're doing enough damage for that right now, Ethan. You gotta just ignore it around yeah. the corner. I wish that my in my rank lobbies. Oh my god. Dan, then we beats. This is that's crazy. What? This is Lucio that? is so good at living. At the last possible moment. This is crazy. I, yeah. I've i never seen an overtime like this on a capture point. They're perfectly staggered. Is what's happening. You gotta just win a team fight. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you leave a Lucio up like that, though. Right. Yes, Hacker. Oh! Hacked her out of it! There's no way. Perfectly timed hack. I mean, if that doesn't show you how perfect Bones is, I mean, it, see what I mean? You play mid range right there. Reaper can't do anything. Yeah. You don't heal enough at that range. But and there we go. Accuracy is on point. 
Yep. Bones has has very good accuracy. So. Yeah, that's game one to the Iowa Western Reapers. Let's see the uh, Bones play the game. No. All right. It's my turn though, so I'm gonna right. head in there. Good see y'all later. Keep the winning ways going. All right. Well, that was a fantastic round there by Iowa Western guys. Um, Bowens looked fantastic. We only really got to see his gameplay and Zarya's gameplay, um, but Bones looked great. Zarya looked great. Um, I'd be interested to see what happened. Oh, well, those are the only gameplays that we needed to see. Um, but Bones and Zarya uh, obviously playing good. Walter, uh, I would love to see what happened in map two, because it felt like from watching Bones POV that we should have been winning those fights. So I wonder what was going on in map two that cost us those. Um, I think Kaylee's coming in uh, to replace Keller. She was she played Anna last game, so. Hard to go to Anna gameplay, I would say. All you're gonna see is her scoped in on her team. Uh, maybe if she's getting like dove by somebody, if she can land the sleep into everything else. But, 1-0 Iowa Western, are these best of threes? Yeah, fives. It's best of five? Oh, okay. I don't know. Sounds like they're getting crazy in there, though. Team's obviously feeling good. You guys can't hear it, but we can hear them through the wall <laughs> celebrating or being crazy or whatever they're doing. Josh is in there. He's holding the fort down. <laughs> He's got it. Um, what is... So that was... What's the next game type? Because I know the game types are set, right? Is it push? No, it's one of the caravan ones. Is it escort or is it that combination escort point one? Ooh. You know what the problem is, is I don't have one of my Mountain Dews with me. I need one of the Mountain Dews from the wonderful people at Pepsi. Yeah. Yeah, they make the Mountain D. Oh, do we have a break? Yeah, they're gonna start. We'll be fine. Kaylee might not be able to get in though. We'll make her stand out behind us, and she's gonna have to cast while yelling into the window. Swap and Key Lime and Keller. I enjoy this map a lot. I think that uh, it's honestly one of the better maps to me. Yeah. Oh, there she is. She's ready. We were gonna get some fun Overwatch Bill casting. But instead, you get me and Kaylee. Great. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know if anybody saw it last game, but um, on that last point, uh, both Ethan and I were fighting a Moira, and she was really low, and he looked away, and I looked away because I'm like, oh, he's the tank, he's Ramatra. <laughs> all she has to like, all he has to do is hit her once, and we both looked away, and I died. <laughs> Uh, we were on Bones' POV. Really? He was just like keeping it for us. He was popping <laughs> off all game. Bones Sombra was, was just, just destroying people. Sombra was just such an awesome pick for us. Like, uh, I don't know what it is with Bones and that character, but Sombra <laughs> must speak to his soul because <laughs> he was playing very well. It's so odd seeing us being as red because I'm like, what are we doing? Why are we killing uh, the enemy? Yeah. Listen, we're we not. Uh, Ooh, uh, their Moira's low. Let's see if we 
find anything here? Nope. Looks like we're running a Winton Sombra Soldier so I'll Moira. Have to, I'll have to talk to Bones theory. about that one. Don't yeah. hack and then grab the health. Because then it unhacks. Um, Teller's in a tough spot here. He was really convinced that Moira is his character, so that's what we're He is, him. yes. Yeah. I asked him, he said he's going to be playing Only Moira. support. And I said, who do you play? And he's like, well, I play Moira. And I'm Ironically, like, okay, so you just play DPS. <gasps> Ooh, nice kill on the cast there. That's actually going to let us in pretty well, I think. And we're about to find another on this Lucio. <gasps> he's so low. Get him. Yes. Support picks are always so huge. Yeah. Even though, like, Lucio doesn't do a lot of instant healing, any pick on Lucio is really good because he allows so much mobility for his team. Yeah, his speed is just so crazy for <laughs> everybody. Right. Um, we did see Keller swap. Yeah, I was gonna say, ironically enough, Keller also likes playing Mercy a lot and Zen. <laughs> he told me that Mo he goes, uh, Moira is my primary pick. I'm like, oh, okay, I think so it's... you just play DPS again, and he's like, yeah, or Zen, and I'm like, so I think you're it's still so funny DPS. that he says he plays Moira because anytime we're in practice, he only plays Mercy. <laughs> oh, does he? <laughs> Mercy's just the go-to. I really hope that, yeah, they found a tank kill here. All they need to do is go after these supports. Ooh. Low Lucio, and they already found the Moira. Go get a monkey. Yeah, he's going to go after that Mo or that Lucio. Maybe not. Nope, I don't think they find That'd it. That'd be a bad idea. Cart POV. Monkey can figure it out. He jump in, <laughs> 5v monkey, yeah. and then just be like, all right, I'm out. We are also up alts here, except for Keller. We have pretty much everything. Ooh, EMP, huge here. They already found a Lucio kill. Let's see if they find the other support. Looks like we're focusing the DPS, so. And yeah. we're gonna use a Winton ult. I don't think we need to more, like any more ults on this. I think this is a good. Primals and ults you have to use on cooldown. Yeah, like. yeah, definitely. Because it's so far. He's just trying to keep him off car, keep him off his team. Another Lucio kill. This Lucio is just not having a good day. So if I wanted to learn how to be good at a primal monkey, do I just play Genji? So I can practice jumping on. I would just play any high mobility DPS or character. <laughs> So right now in my tank repertoire, <laughs> there is no Doomfist, there is no Ball, and yeah. there is no Monkey. You need to play a high mobility. That's the thing about those three characters with high mobility. In order to get good at like any of them, you can either one trick them or just keep playing more characters with that high mobility. Mm -hmm. Kind of get used to it because you're gonna be moving around your mouse a lot. You're gonna have to look back and yeah, forth a lot. Yeah, you gotta have the space on your. Yeah, definitely on your desk. space on your desk, and then just get in the right mindset for it. We always say, like, um, Genji and Lucy are like the ADHD characters of Overwatch. Because <laughs> you just really need that going for you to play them right. well. Oh, get him there. That's, that's what we like to see. That's super good. And that he forced an alt there. Hacking that Orisa, Trying to do some damage and get out safely. Ooh. Somber pick is just so huge here. And he's going to hack that health There. Pack. That was a good way to do it. Good Ethan job. keeping them off his team. And Boney's going back in. Gonna get that Arissa low. Do we find the kill on her? She's healing up slowly. You guys sure you didn't want to put those on DPS all <laughs> Like, this is crazy. He was on on blue team. We couldn't. It was just Bonnier's and I for D, uh, support. Mm, okay. Up until we got Raymond afterwards. But yeah, Bones has been all over. Like He's also a somber one trick. <laughs> oh, Bones is? Does <laughs> yeah. he play anything else? He occasionally will play, like, Ash. <laughs> But for okay. the most part, it's always Sombra. So we are down one of our supports here. We're still going to keep trying to find a kill. We did get a trade on that soldier. Um, any support kill would be more valuable here just because they can't keep him up. We're down a lot now. Down three. Ethan needs to get out safely or just die. He needs to not stagger. He might actually find a kill before he dies. Maybe? Oh, no. Maybe? Oh, he, he did, did it. Oh, get that health back. Get the health back. back. <laughs> He almost lives. Less than a second away from getting another Yeah, now shield. the issue here, though, is that he's super staggered. Yeah. And his team just wasn't back fast enough to heal him. So Time if he would have, like... Diva. Is he going to go Diva, you think? No. No. I don't expect him to. <laughs> Diva's his, like, go-to. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. He really likes Diva. For as bad as I am at Overwatch, um, I have a 70% win rate on Diva. <laughs> Diva's just one of those high mobility... That's, like, also a really good one. And he helps Ooh. you get into that mindset. A good anti... Playing a little bit like a DPS here, a little scary, but it's okay. Um, You're an Anna main, right? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I struggle playing Anna. But that's because I play characters... Um, like, I play Lucio. Mm -hmm. And I play Moira. 
and you play those heroes that are always in and out. That are yeah, that are in the fight. So when I'm playing Anna, that's me. Yeah. I'm like running. I'm like oh. I'm well, here's the thing, and it's one of my favorite things is that you can be very aggressive as Anna, but mm -hmm. just from a distance. The fact that she can scope in is just so huge for her. Uh, and I get obviously, like, in like scoping the other in and out is really good for her because like you you reset that little cooldown where like you shoot if you like scope in shoot and then unscope and then shoot that's a lot faster than just scoping in and shooting twice. So you're saying scope in, pull the trigger, unscope and pull the trigger, you yeah. can fire faster. <laughs> yeah. The trigger somehow works differently. There's a lot of like um, you don't want a tunnel vision like you said. You don't want to always be scoped in. You yeah. don't want to always un like not be scoped in. It's always good to like use that back and forth. Now in they Overwatch One, down. wasn't there something about quick scoping with her? Mm -hmm. Is that still a thing in Overwatch Two? They kind of change it a little, but it's still possible. Yeah. Okay. Because I've been trying, like I'm messing with it, but it doesn't. S the visual of it seems like it takes her a little bit longer to pull it in. Yeah. Than what I seem to remember. It's I think two. easier with Widow, but with Widow you don't just get the damage as much because mm -hmm. getting up to that eighty percent is like if you get up to eighty percent on Widow. That's always going to be a headshot one kill, depending on like the range. Mm -hmm. um, like 100 percent, obviously, it's going to be always a headshot. Right. Uh, with Ana, obviously, you don't get that. Mm. Okay. Learning how to Ana right here on Iowa <laughs> Westerns. Well, Ana is just an enigma to me. Like I, I look at her and I'm like, she should be very strong. Yeah. Like. I think Ana should, should get safe. headshot damage, and I will always preach it because when they added it as an April Fool's joke last year. It just felt so right. I was like, why would they never not do this? This just feels right. Is it because that you could two-shot people? I think. Probably one headshot and one of the body would kill, like... Let's get started. Uh, I don't know, Genji. And we can't let Genji die too quickly. That would ruin the way the devs look I'm at Overwatch. I'm always at Nerf Genji. Always preach it. <laughs> I, if anything happens in Overwatch, I'm like, honestly, it's just Nerf Genji. Like, right? I think that's obviously the issue. <laughs> What's that? Tracer, number one DPS in the game, nerf Genji. Literally, it's just Genji's fault. So it looks like enemy team here is what gonna is run a Junker, Tracer, Soldier, Moira, Brig. They're gonna go kind of like, I don't know how to say it, maybe dive heavy. Mm -hmm. Just really aggro, it looks like. Um, I think Bonies may have just been scoping out what their team has. I'm a Brig support player too. I really like playing Brig. My uh, friend actually, whenever we play, we know a majority of like the hero's footsteps. Here I, I feel like I never play as competitive as I can. I feel like I play more competitive when I'm with my friends. Ooh, bones. Oh, Keller, you need... don't need to chase yeah, him, I assure yes. you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little scary. Keller almost got out of position there. Looks like they're gonna try to maybe go up top. I don't think that's gonna work for them. Uh, oh wait, they're they actually gonna go around. Yeah. To the right. They are going all the way to the right. Bonies might die here. Keller. <laughs> No. Heal. Bonies is down, but we did get a Moira pick, and we are looking like we're gonna get a Brig pick too. Yes, supports down. This is huge. You know what that reminded me when we're gonna get a Brig pick too, of the uh, Lion King when he's like, "You could be a big pig too." Whoa! <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, looks like their team is gonna try to get on point. I keep, I, okay, I've been playing too much Valorant, way too much. And I keep saying on site, and I oh. keep like clicking Valorant buttons in game, and I'm like, no, this is the right one. Oh. Um, yeah, they tried to get on point here, but our team isn't gonna let it happen. Looks like they're all grouping up We're here. We're holding and pretty about well. Go oh, in. Sure. Ethan down though, I think we have to give this one up. It's scary to play we gave that up super quick. Yeah, they got five minutes left on yeah, the Yeah, we lost that real fast. They need to hold well here, and I don't think that they're... I don't think they know what to do against this. Um, well, like what is the, the rock, oh. paper, scissors aspect of it, um, right? Uh, brawl well, comp. Right now, none of them are on cart, which is kind of big for us. It gives us a couple seconds mm. off. Uh, brawl comp beats dive comp. Dive comp beats poke comp. Beats poke comp. That is the basic yeah. rock, paper, scissors of it, right? So uh, they're playing full dive. It's basically what it looks like. Is it dive or is it brawl? Uh, they I would say with. Because Junker, Tracer, and Brig. I would say with the Moira, Tracer, Junker, Queen. You think dive? I would Ooh. say that that's dive. I mean, it's not 1v1 like a traditional. here on the. Oh, and he takes a Tracer down. That's huge for them. That wouldn't even close. 
This is the first time I've seen Bones ever play DPS, so I'm like, yes. <laughs> Get a Bone! Oh, I love playing with Bonies on DPS. It's so much fun. We love off falling together. When I play DPS, I usually just play Cass. This was a great yeah, ultimate this was there. Yeah, great ult. Pigpen was on top of three of them, too. Just a DPS alive now for them. Hopefully they can either get a... Is, there, a is he going to go for it? <laughs> it's shotgun. I thought Bonies was going to go for that pick. Yeah, Bonies is going for some picks here. He's a little far forward, so I'm a little scared for him. One uh, of the things I mentioned to Keller watching Bones play Sombra is Bones has almost zero downtime. Like, he's always doing something. Even when the team fight's well, over, That's like, as you should. There's around. a lot of people who play Sombra who still play her as old Sombra. So once Sombra's changes came into the game, and you can see it here, this is like a great example of it, is she has to play way more with the team. Mm -hmm. She has to play way more into the fight than before, where she could just go in, do a couple, like, bit of damage, and then just TP out. But now, because of the way that her TP changes and with her new virus ability, she has to be in the fight. She has to be yeah. in their face, like kind of like Tracer, just in there all the time and like, oh, annoying them. Ooh, Junker low here, and he finds a kill. As well as, I think, yeah, they, they're finding a lot of kills, actually. This is really good. Anna. And their support down. Four down on the enemy team, and we're up. And we've got the whole hog ready <laughs> to go. The only time I ever play Hog is if the other team has Doomfist. I actually think there's way, like there's a lot to counter Doomfist that just people forget about. I usually play on into Doomfist, which sounds crazy. But when he dives but on you and he blocks, you just it's sleep so him, much. Right? It's so much easier to sleep. Doomfist is such a big character. Yeah. <laughs> it's so easy to sleep him. Junker Queen, despite being a big tank, she's mm -hmm. like her hitbox is very slender compared to the other tanks, yes. where it's like wider but less tall, so mm -hmm. it's a lot harder to hit like a jungle queen than it is a doom. Yeah, just whenever, uh, like, so whenever Oh, there, first... after that kill, Keller did get a kill on their soldier. Nice. He got a double right there, actually. Yeah, and they're actually gonna now focus this tracer, which would be very good for them. And they're down again. The good thing is that they keep staggering their DPS, which at this point, their DPS need to learn Whoa. that, like, oh, I think he ulted? Is that what the ult yeah, looks he ulted. like in that skin? Um, I have no idea, but they, we did use, I've never seen we that used soldier ult here. I might have been a misclick. We didn't need it. Um, that might oh cost no, us hog. a team fight. Oh, good Suzu there. Yeah, Cleanse did miss Keller, but that's okay. He's a Moira. He can just fade out of anti. Using alt here to oh, pull back that team kill. and our Moira alt to keep the team alive. This was three alts, so a little, a little extreme, a little overkill. Actually, it was four. It's never extreme if oh, it wins. Oh no. Now we're down the alt battle. They have four coming up, five, yes. and we have nothing to counter it. Yeah, um, I'm expecting to see the uh, empower into the visor here, yeah. more than likely. I think the best outcome here is if we can get them all to use their alts together mm -hmm. and just lose one team fight over losing many, you know, because of their alt usage being well then yeah. that would be very good for us. Oh, no. Yeah, we're down Keller. They've used Mano. They've used Beat. Keller trying to be a little I too I think aggressive. we need to keep baiting out those alts, but if they're up three alts, they might still win another team fight. Bonier's in the back trying to take care of a support. They know where he is. He's distracting both Lucio and Ana and only keeping one on the cart due to it, so that's actually pretty good for us. 1v1 wanting that Lucio, he's got it. I heard him. He's got it. I heard yeah. him laughing in there. <laughs> I heard the bones Look laugh from in, inside the wall, so I'm like, oh, he totally <laughs> kills this girl. When he like freaks out like that, I, I know that he's like <laughs> laughing. They're gonna find another oh, auto kill here. That's actually really good for us. And they did switch to Doom, so they lost that Junk Queen alt. They I'm not sure if they used to it. Doom. They lost? That's they had Tracer ult, they had Visor still. Yeah, they, they still use. had Visor and Tracer. That could have won them that fight, and they just had no ability to wow. use it. That's that's insane. Well, that was a great round there by Iowa Western. And Ethan with the play. What a weird skin. It's a very interesting one. Yeah, this is just very good. I think Ana should get play if she nanos them, but that would also be really boring. <laughs> You know what they should do? It should be like a dual thing where it shows the on and nano them and then it and then goes it, into yeah. them and them just crushing. <laughs> That's people. how support plays need to be. That would be awesome. 
The only support plays that you see are just when they pop off, when they get a lot of kills. Like a Moira getting a whole bunch of kills with the ball into her right click, or um, a Lari. Do I need to move this like further back? <laughs> Uh, you can lower it if you want to. <laughs> I don't know. If it's in your face. I just feel like it's in like... I didn't notice how far in my face it was until now. They're supposed to be... Does this look weird that this All is right. actually my hand? <laughs> we are going on to... What was it? Control... Es hybrid, I think. Yeah, that was hybrid. Is and it? Yeah, that was hybrid. Escort. So escort next. What do you think they're gonna... Enemy team is gonna pick? Oh, they get picked because it's yeah, lost, Yeah, they get right? a pick. I believe that we are um, banning Dorado on Escort, so that's out of the question. What about, what's the one where you start where it takes place in the city? Like skyscrapers and shit. Numbani? No, yeah. that's hybrid. Is, oh, that's right. It is hybrid because <laughs> the first point is. Yes. Hmm. Um, Escort. Escort is like Shambali, Dorado, or <laughs> I should know this. Um, I can literally only think of Shambali right now, so it's is my there, guess. Um, isn't there like a jump, Route 66? Yeah. Um, let's go with Route 66. Also, I think... I'm a big fan of Route 66, so... Yeah, Route... Um, I literally don't know. <laughs> I can only think Shambali, so that's what I'm picking. Oh, it's so weird because in this... In, in Overwatch specifically, right? You're playing a location, right? So... Oh, you know, sometimes you know it's always also, um, what is it called? Watch Point Gibraltar. Yes, that's also a very good one, too. Um, I'm, I'm terrible at Watch Point Gibraltar. I'm not comfortable on that first part. I'm surprised that they brought it back. Because it used to... Oh, hey, Route, Route yeah. 66. Oh, look at that, that nice view. Who's spectating? Can you get us a view of that menu? Yeah, what's on that menu? <laughs> wow. Is it like fish? Looks like fish. A bunch of food. Tofu. <laughs> There's noodles. There's uh, sticky where buns. This place is right away. But to be fair, sticky buns are incredible. Do you guys know that a new Korean place opened up in Omaha? Really? I want to go. They just, that seems like so good. I was just complaining about how there's no Korean places near here. And then I get an ad for it. And instead you choose. <laughs> where did the. <laughs> I will Instead, get a Instead, you choose Olive Garden. I'll make money with my art, sir. Don't worry. <laughs> you only hit me once with an eraser. I have a lot more. <laughs> I have a lot don't more. Hit my eye. I will. No, we got to tell Josh. He's got to clean him. Miss, miss, and miss. Here's the rule. If we lose this <laughs> series, Josh has to clean him. Yeah, it was all Josh's <laughs> fault. He should have been in here preventing it happening. Uh, so, ball? Really? Yeah, they're running a ball cast. Ash, Anna, and Lucio. Ball is already half health. You're going to run ball to get out of Sombra? that. That's wild, bro. I think that they can really, yeah, this is perfect. So Moomin Rider here is going to try to focus those supports and forcing everybody off high ground to protect them, as well as finding a kill on that Anna. Cass is already low, so they just need to focus him a little. He's a little, like, bit behind the team, so he's kind of hiding. Bonnier's going after the Ash. He misses a virus, but it's okay. It's, it's Moomin wild Rider may be able to clean up these kills, and there he goes. They're it's, down three. <laughs> it's wild to me that they pick Ball into Sombra. I agree. Why would they pick Ball into a Sombra when, um, like, if somebody's playing Sombra the entire game, I just feel like Ball isn't the pick. Sombra is like the counter yeah. to ball. Ball shows up, uh, you let him come out of ball, usually the moment he goes back in, you just hack him. And then he just sits there and looks at you while you're doing kills. Kills him, not you. So they're down both supports again. Supports couldn't touch the point. Moomin Rider going after that DPS and going 1v1 with that ball, while Bonnie's is actually focusing DPS on low ground. He is not gonna make it out here. Got a trade on our DPS. Our Ash is super low. Um, we may lose our tank here. There he goes. Ball is still playing high ground. Lucio is back and Moira is back, so they need to focus at. Looks like their whole team is back. Um, and we're grouped up. We're also up alts. I'm Casey's surprising lack of using either of his 
damage for his healing ball. Yeah. My favorite him. way. Circuit Royale is also a card. Oh, okay. <gasps> Radical Randy's in the chat. What? Oh my gosh. Hi. I know who it is. That's so that's so surprising. We haven't heard from you in like eons. Eons. <laughs> Primal is on board, so we'll see what happens if Primal gets used. Uh, yeah, they. How do we feel about Moomin's juggling ability? Uh. Who they, can he juggle here? He can't really juggle anybody. Yeah, they're all like really. Baby Ash. Uh, looks yeah, like but they she have. Can just coach. Yeah. Coach out of it. They have Tracer and Ash alts coming up, as well as Moira. Um, they used Ball and B, where we have both Tank and DPS. Sorry, not Tank and DPS. We have Tank, Visor, and B. Ethan's just gotta go for it. Go for those kills. Get them. We did drop the Ash, and it looks we so like uh, this We are gonna take down their Lucio and w. maybe their Moira. Both supports down. This is huge. The Strange alt may have been... Usage. But you know, <laughs> the alt may have been a little strange here, but you know he's gonna keep him off. Point. Oh, and he lands on ball. That's, that's huge. Yeah, that's actually really good for us. We are gonna get point here. Oh. Gets hit with a dynamite. Well, now that we've kicked Fred out of the game, Bob will be coming back here momentarily. I expect. They're down Tracer again. Tracer goes down again with ulti. It's like... Whitney's gonna go after this Ash here. Not gonna let her stay on that high ground. Hits the virus. Please, he just has to like two more shots and he kills her. Ooh. Virus kills are so satisfying. That's got it. That had to be like the final tick of virus there too. Yeah. And it's wild because it's such a low cooldown. For what it does for her as a kit, it's such a low cooldown. It looks like they're gonna go after Ball here and maybe Moira. Ball is low. This Moira is in a really bad spot now. This is the biggest thing that I like tell them is that if somebody is out of position, it doesn't matter who we are gonna focus them. Like if yeah. we're yes, we're fighting the team, but if somebody gets out of position, focus the out of position person first because their team is no longer in a spot to save them. So this is really big on like, for example, that Moira, any supports in general. Like if Lucio is behind us, we're gonna focus that. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that that's the first oh, thing Oh, and this did. is what I'm talking about. Right when Ball turned into Ball. Ooh, EMP there was a little overkill, but it did take out the remaining yeah, team. Yeah. It looks like we yeah. win the first round. Here comes Bob, a little too late to do anything, and their Tracer ends the game again with her ultimate still up. Like, that's crazy. I'm like tearing up a lot, and I think yeah, it's my allergies. And I think, Are you allergic to cats? I think, yeah. It's probably. Do, do you have my, cat hair? I have cats. <laughs> so I probably have cat hair somewhere else. You know, my sister... I can this is, over for No, you. it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Been relegated to the corner of the table, It's just guys. tearing eyes, it's okay. <laughs> it's uh, not like sniffly or like itchy eyes. And that's like the biggest... The biggest no. The, I, I, I cannot do that. No, thank you. Look at the Pachamari and his little crown. Nice pile of gold, and he's <laughs> <It's> disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> we are not allowed to look at the Pachamari anymore. Yeah, I, I actually have two cats. Really? I have yeah. a cat too, though. Two cats uh, and a chihuahua. Oh my gosh, I have a cat and two chihuahuas. We have like the same pets, but like in the reverse order. <laughs> I wish those were the only things that had to be taken care of in my house. Was talking to Moira the other day. Do you have kids? Get looking over at you. Uh, between my girlfriend and I, we have four kids. Uh, the oldest one is, uh, out of high school, though. Okay, so um, it's like three, but... The youngest one had to make an appearance had to make an appearance. this season. <laughs> That's so real of you. <laughs> uh, but we also have, like, two parakeets. You know, I was just talking about how, like, Lucio, like, needs that ADHD mentality. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Radical Randy used to be our Lucio. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> he was the only one that could play Lucio like he did. I was always like, dude, I don't know how you play Lucio. He played Lucio our first season. Let's be real. Lucio is Like, a that's DPS. all he played. Yeah, Lucio is basically a DPS. So it looks like Hog is really low here. We stunned him out of the heals. Huh? Ryan. Because it was... I think it was... Tank. Season one, it was Tasha... 
I think we subbed in Jake and Caden a lot, but I think it was mo mainly Caden, wasn't it? Because it used to be Tasha, Maverick, Ryan, myself. There's like the four I can for sure confirm. Uh, I literally have no idea who else played for <laughs> Yeah, he also played DPS. Josh. Josh played DPS for us. That's what it was. Because we had Maverick on support first, and then we had Ma Ooh. or Josh on support after. Great kill there on the uh, Kiri. Yeah, we're actually holding this really well. We're not letting them get past this anymore. We're gonna focus that on, which is gonna be huge for us. Just kill her, yes! <laughs> and that is gonna cost them their lives. That's so big. Is if, they, they, if they can't protect their support, and if the support is out of position, they just lose those fights. Yeah, being out of position. So recently I watched Awkward's um, Unranked to Top 500 UCL uh, YouTube video. I've literally never heard of that person, but that also sounds like a really hard task. He uh, he did it with an 85% win rate. Wow. So, and he goes very in-depth into um, when to other other people being out of position. Yeah. Punishing their out of position. You with always Lucio. gotta punish that out of position. Yeah, Lucio is such a good character for it just because of his high mobility. Yeah. And I always tell this Ooh. with Ethan too that when he plays D.Va, if there's anybody on high ground, if there's anybody out of position, he needs to go after it. He needs to play D.Va like he plays Tracer. Just yeah. go in there. As as D.Va, if there's somebody on high ground, you kick them off because that's your spot. D.Va just wants to perch up, fire those little micro missiles down on people. Get her boops. <gasps> he did. I oh, forgot about very that. Cool. Gosh, I got... Yeah, uh, Randy J actually made it into uh, the national championship last semester, and he's going into t he's top four tracer. right now. Oh, that tracer is so low. The rewind. He is? Wow. Jay, yeah, he's rated he's ranked number one. They really he, need to punish this. He's gotta team finish here. his story. The biggest thing is yeah, they if they focus <laughs> great focus on that Kiriko there. That was so good for them. Hog he's now got, had to come he's back. Got the final boss left to go. <laughs> yeah. We are down our tank, we are down <laughs> That's our That's why support. I looked over Cole when I said it. I liked your Lucio, I will say that. I, I mean, any time that like, okay, for a little bit this semester, I tried to learn Lucio, mm -hmm. I just can't do it. I literally cannot do it. I'm I just don't have the mindset video. for Lucio. I'm gonna send you this video because watching him do it, he made it look so easy. I really liked playing Lucio at first because I could like get a lot of kills and stuff, but then mm -hmm. once we obviously started moving up, it was just a lot. <laughs> yeah. And like the little mistakes I were making, like they were just, they're too big. Looks like we're gonna hold them into overtime here, but they do get the first point. Josh was doing um, yeah, interesting. Two seconds and 30, two, two seconds, two minutes 30 on the clock. I really want to see Casey throw out those damage orbs. The way I play Moira is just in, like damage orb over and over until I get that alt. And then I will swap over. Also, if you don't know this, and if you haven't been doing this, if you ever played Moira and you need to like get that heal bar high up again, mm -hmm. tap your damage. Just tap it. Literally, just rather tap than it. hold it. Yeah, tap it on a on an enemy, and it'll like boost it up. I don't know why really? it does it like that. It just does. Interesting. I'll have to test that out. I didn't know that. That's like it's just like the Moira thing that everybody does. Interesting. I'm always just... tap your. Also, when you're healing, though it doesn't look like it, Moira's healing is over time. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah. naturally, just like kind of you tap your heal around. Yeah. Don't like spray. Yeah, or, like yeah, spray, but like quick or tap your healing around. Don't hold it. Looks like we're gonna use as much as we can to get this hog down. He is nanoed right now. Oh! Hack on the hog. As long as Ethan doesn't go down here with that anti, we should be good. He got hacked out of his bait, too. Yep, hog is really low. Hacked him again. He's gotta be so mad. Look at him, he just stopped moving. <laughs> <laughs> so Bones basically hacked him out of like three continuous vapes. I need, I need him to kill this on She's so out of position, please. I mean, to nice be fair. Nice kill, Gavin. To be fair, if Moomin Rider died right there to the That would have been a little embarrassing. I would have clipped it. And I would have pinned it in our Discord. <laughs> yeah. 
You've got an on with one health, and you are a full health Sigma standing in front of her. You should win. All right, well, lots of damage being thrown out here by Astral. Uh, he is doing what he can here. Normally, when you see Kiri, you do the uh, two kunai into the heel, into the two kunai. He's all kunai. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I like it. Suzu'd the Tracer ultimate. It's always, it always feels good when your Kiri Suzu's the Tracer ultimate. You suddenly just get lots of confidence in your Kiri immediately. Kiri headshot kills are like some of the most satisfying things. See, as a Kiwi isn't neurodivergent enough to play Lucio? What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what I literally said at one point during practice. I was like, I don't have the ADHD for this. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, well, we got to play the game here by, from Moomin Rider. That was a, looks like a three-player Sigma ultimate into trapping both of them here into the side. Neither Hog or Kiri's getting out of that one. And Iowa Western goes up 2 0 on the game type. So, what are we going to next? Push? That's it. We win. Yeah, we win. Oh, I thought you said it's best like, of three. It's a best of five. First yeah. Three. First to three. We Did we three. win all three? No. Yes. Oh, I thought we only played Joker, two. Joker, are we in the same room? <laughs> <laughs> it feels that are way. You, are you in the room with us? Well, Kaylee, that's the end of your Overwatch career. Yeah. It is. How does it feel? Good. You give us your statement. How's it feel to go off on a dub? Um, it feels a lot better than the last couple weeks. I don't know what statement to give. What's your impressions, thoughts of playing for us for the four semesters? Uh, I liked it. I liked being here for four semesters. So I want to let him in. <laughs> nah. We let the man at the end, at the other end here. of the room. <laughs> let him stand out here and just walk, look in um, as we talk to Kayla. I don't know. I say I will. I have enjoyed playing esports uh, for you guys. Oh. Uh, I know. Like when I first started Overwatch esports, I wasn't going to start, but Andy convinced me. And yeah. ever since oh, then, you're I like, really liked playing it. So I'm, I'm glad I stayed. I'm glad that I was able to be captain for you guys. And I'm glad that I stayed for four semesters. Well, we're happy you were here. We're going to miss you. Uh, Who Kate? brought you candy? Uh. <laughs> and water. I didn't even I do anything. And snacks. This time. I brought a lot of candy for myself. Guys, any final thoughts for your final Overwatch game for Iowa Western? It was fun. It was really fun. It was fun. really fun. Playing support is really fun. I enjoy it. Yeah. More is actually fun More now. More is a really <laughs> fun character. <laughs> point and click adventure it's just, uh, yeah I mean, you're it's just not playing, even a point and click you're just, just playing click. D, you're just playing a third dps i mean yeah, you know, in reality I mean, so i went 30 and 3 uh, uh <laughs> but let's i want to talk about bones of sombra oh bones my god yeah, yes. holy so at, at the end there we saw the hog just give up after you hacked him out of his <laughs> out of his vape like three times in a row yeah and he just stopped yeah. <laughs> like, he's just like, okay. Yeah, I love Roadhog's Sombra because they don't heal until they get under, like, half HP. So if you just yeah. hack them, you just kill them. Yeah. And then they, a uh, few questionable things oh, from Walter fault. there. I thought they were swapping the, into Ball into Sombra. That was wild. Um, <laughs> they just kept swapping characters like they had. Yeah, they really yeah, did. they they were choosing a lot of characters. It seemed like they I played think I think the best swap that they did against me was Brig, just because Sombra has some issues with Brig, so I just yes. started ignoring her. As a <laughs> as a Brig player, I'm down when they swap Sombra. Yeah, it's not that they didn't get to play. The game. So they chose not to. Play the game. <laughs> Question yeah. I have is Bone starting DPS next year. Uh -oh. Maybe. Uh -oh. I'm starting to think maybe yes. I'm just kind of a one trick at Sombra though. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to have all summer to get Anything other tricks. <laughs> um, well, honestly, your Sombra gameplay is very good. Mm -hmm. um, but you made a bunch of Genji. Um, no. Another. This is a no Genji household. No Genji. Well, Ryan is basically done, right? So nobody right, else plays too. Genji. Yeah. You guys need a Genji player. <laughs> well, he yeah. Was she was casted with us. Um, yeah, yeah, so, so I'll let the graduates say one final shout-out to anyone they want. I'm going to let you guys take it out, actually. Yeah. 
and then we'll, uh, we'll Brad, hit the road. I have a long list, so no, that's okay. you, you go for it. Oh, <laughs> me? All right. Um, into the mic, please. Into the mic. Yeah, let me get the, get the mic here. <laughs> All right. I got a lot of people I want to shout out here. Um, one final shout out to anyone I want. You're like writing down a list in your head. I am writing down a list in my head. Um, I'll keep it short. Uh, thank you to Bill, Ian, Aiden, Aiden, Peyton, um, my dad, uh, my mom, and um, Dr. Long. Matthews. It, it was long. I'm keeping it to the most important people. Oh, I'm sorry. I was number one. Just remember that. I was number one. But number thank one. you to those people. Great way to close out the final <laughs> watch stream for Ethan there. In, in the corner. Out of the room. Stare at the wall. Let me watch. Look at me. Look at you staring at the wall. No, no. Over here. Stare at that wall. You're in timeout. He's in timeout, guys. He said a bad word. <laughs> you want to go? Um, um, how did you guys like think the the season went? And you know, all the teams. Let's not played. answer Let's. that one. <laughs> Let's avoid that question. Do you know, your shoutouts. Think. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't have anything. Okay. I think Bye. everybody was nice. <laughs> I'm just happy I met everybody. Yeah. My oh yeah I that's true my w number one hater Keller thank you Keller for always <laughs> motivating me to do better because I was always sad and then thank you Bonnier for always motivating me to do better because I was always better I'm with sad you. And never <laughs> <laughs> um, and obviously like Bill Ian and Hagen and like Ryan's okay I guess. Wow. <laughs> wow. Abby Abby's not a part of our esports, but I love Abby. Abby didn't do anything for me, though. <laughs> right. uh, I just want to shout out my parents, Bill, Ian, Josh, because for some reason no one said Josh. Everyone forgot to shout out Josh. Everyone that I played Overwatch with in my COD team. <laughs> Bones especially, because it's Bones and Ryan and Kelly. I want you guys to know that I will come back in the chat just to be Bonaise's number one fan. That is my goal. That is my job. Are you going to make a Bonaise number one fan? Yeah, I'm actually going to change my not Key Lime account to Bonaise's number one fan account. And that's going to be me in the chat. <laughs> all right. Well, I personally want to thank all of you guys for being such good students and good players. And good luck with, every, with whatever you do in the future. You're always welcome back here. So please stop by as much as you can. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be very happy to have you. And for everyone else out there listening, thank you. We'll be back tomorrow with some playoff action as Bones takes on uh, Element Dub in Mario Kart. And then the gunfight team looks to get to the regional finals. And Street Fighter looks to stay alive in the loser bracket. At the end of the so. stream, his name is just going to be Element because I'm taking that dub. Oh. Damn. Damn. Shots fired. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Also want to shout out to Cole, our producer all year. He doesn't get enough love, so thanks, Cole. Yeah, yeah. Cole right. walked so we could run. Yeah. Thank well, you, Cole. Thank you, Cole. <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow for more playoff action. Thank you for joining us, and go Reavers.